He lives here. <laughs> He's with another guy, Blossom. No, not another guy. The guy. Bobby Brewer. <laughs> Bobby Brewer. He's in my house under my roof. I'm dying. Let's still look at him, okay? There. It's not bad, Dad, but it's missing something. It's missing Ella Fitzgerald. I'm accompanying her Saturday night at the Hollywood Bowl. How many lanes do they have there? <laughs> no, Joey, it's a benefit concert. I was supposed to be playing just for Ella, but now they've added Tony Bennett, Mel Torme, and Stephen Eady. Some benefit. They're not going to make any money unless they get some names. Get away from me, Joey. <laughs> Boy, your father's wound pretty tight. He gets a little stressed sometimes, but he's really just your basic pussycat. Yeah. I thought about being a musician once. Money for nothing, chicks for free. <laughs> yeah. That's all you need, more chicks. I can't even handle all your rejects. I wish I had as many as you think I do. Line up all your babes, give them tubas, you got yourself a parade. You were hitting the ball pretty good today. Yeah, if I could just go to the opposite field, I'd be hitting about 400. What are you batting now? I'm not real good at figuring. It's either 12 or 4,008. <laughs> Hey, uh, perfect timing. Listen, before you leave, I need you to figure out my batting average, okay? I had 61 at-bats and 22 hits. Hi, Bobby. What a surprise. 361. We didn't hear you guys come in. 361. Cool. You figure that out and talk at the same time? I can also rub my tummy, pat my head, and sing, Best You is my woman now at the same time. <laughs> she can. I have it on video. <laughs> I'm impressed. Come on, Bobby. I'm also embarrassed. I can figure my batting average, but I need a calculator and an extra set of batteries. <laughs> Bobby, homework, scholarship? Scholarship? Yeah, my man here is going to get a baseball scholarship at USC. I'm going to prep school in Arizona next semester. I need to pull up my grades. That must be scary. Scary? What are you talking about? I don't know. Going away like that, leaving your family and friends? <laughs> I'm being silly, huh? No, you're being stupid. <laughs> well, maybe scary isn't the right word. I'd probably be more like lonely, although sometimes they go together, right? You get lonely, you get scared. Blossom, Arizona, hot. Lots of co-ed type babes and shorts, bikinis, wet t-shirts. You get lonely, you go eeny, meeny, miny, yo. <laughs> Makes you proud to be a woman, doesn't he? Come on, Bobby. Bobby? Right, right, yeah, yeah. 
Um, it was nice to see you, Blossom. You too, Six. I liked everything about that. <laughs> uh-huh, and he liked you. I could tell. Something happened there. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> the way he looked at you. I mean, if he looked at me like that, I'd be on him like a coat of paint. <laughs> Let's get real sex. Bobby is at least two years older than me. He's the hottest guy in school. And there's no possible way that he'd ever be interested in me at all. Not a chance. No way. Zip. Zero. Never. You're right. <laughs> hey, you're a guest in this house. <laughs> What? Am I disturbing you? Bobby! Oh, I, um, thought you left. Well, we're taking a break. Hey, is that your trumpet? This one? I'm watching it for a friend. Don't you play? I've thought about it, but like Joey says, girls look dorky playing the trumpet. He said you played. Oh, I fool around with it a little. He pointed you out in the marching band. <laughs> But, um, you didn't look dorky. I mean, I don't think it's possible for you to look dorky. Wow. You're very unusual, Blossom. Uh-oh, the U word. No, I mean, you're funny, you're talented, you're very smart. Smart? Oh, you mean that batting average thing? No, I, I mean the way you knew. It is scary going away to school, it, uh, it can be scary. Well, it's natural to be scared. Going away to a strange place without your family, friends, Joey, your pets. You? Bobby, where are you? Um, can I call you? On the phone? <laughs> I could try yelling out the window, but I live in another zip code. <laughs> Sure. Um, when? Uh, you doing anything tonight? Yeah. I'm sitting by the phone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. George! <laughs> Listen to me babbling away. It happens every time we talk. Just tell me to shut up. What? <laughs> Great. Bobby? Six is laughing her head off. <laughs> Today? Well, sure, yeah. I'll see you in a while. Well, you're funny, too. And wonderful and perfect. You call Bobby? No, he called me 16 times. Well, actually, 15. One time he called for a pizza and dialed me by mistake. <laughs> Why didn't you call? Because I've been on the phone with him all weekend, and he's coming over here in a few minutes. You were right, Six. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Please, you sound like Sally Field. <laughs> Why does he like you? Well, I have no idea, but who understands boys? Blossom, we're not just talking boy here. This is the guy you give to Michelle Pfeiffer for Christmas. <laughs> well, what am I going to do, Six? He really likes me. What's the problem? I've never been here before, you know? When I think about him, I hear music, I see stars, animated butterflies, little sparkly things. <laughs> I got kicked there once. <laughs> Next time, wear a cup. Joey, last time they were talking about our love lives. That's like the Pope and Mr. Rogers talking about their love lives. <laughs> We were talking about Bobby Brewer. What about Bobby? He's been calling every day. Six. I didn't get the message. He's been calling Blossom. <sighs> and your dreams. Bobby's the coolest dude in school. Come in. Bobby, we were just talking about you. Hey, guy. Listen, let's go to the batting cage. I'll go get my stuff. Joey, uh, I called Blossom. See if she wanted to go for a walk, maybe get a soda or something. Blossom? Uh, this blossom? Yeah, uh, we can hit some balls later. Maybe tomorrow, next week. My sister blossom? Do you mind? 
No, no, I'm stunned, but I don't mind. <laughs> great, great. Come on, Blossom. You want to take a walk too, Joey? Um, yeah, sure. You go ahead and start without me, okay? benefit i won't bother you i'll catch you later okay joey what's the problem okay well you know my new friend bobby brewer he's um got short hair kind of straight wears a lot of baseball jackets uh-huh he's also the lady killer of the century girls at school line up for this guy uh-huh dad you don't seem to understand bobby brewer scores with every girl he goes out with why are you telling me about this somebody i don't even know because he's got a thing for Blossom. Oh, you're talking about Bobby the dead boy. <laughs> they go for walks, talking on the phone, staring at each other. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's not get carried away. It's probably quite innocent. Maybe she's helping him with schoolwork or something. Yeah. I mean, nothing else makes sense, Joey. If what you say about this guy is true, he wouldn't be dating Blossom. Friends, maybe, but not dating. <laughs> Blossom? Hi, Dad. Hi, Joey. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. No. Better than okay. Better than wonderful. Bobby asked me the junior prom. <laughs> she said junior prom, didn't she? That's what she said. That'd be like a date, wouldn't it? That'd be more like the Super Bowl of dates. <laughs> Dad, don't you remember your junior prom? Vaguely. Do you remember what you did after the prom? Kinda. Good, good. Hold that thought. My best friend, Bobby Home Run Brewer, is taking your daughter, Blossom the Rookie Russo, to his junior prom. Any questions? No, no questions. Chest pains, but no questions. <laughs> What's going on with the benefit concert? Oh, it's uh, getting a little dicey. Out of 15 acts, 14 of them want to close with New York, New York. <laughs> Who doesn't? Liza Minnelli. <laughs> well, hang in there. Yeah, well, uh, I want to talk to you about Saturday night. I know. I'm so excited. My first prom, and Bobby is so great. When do you get to know him? Actually, I don't want to get to know him. What do you mean? Look, I think you're getting in over your head. Bobby's a lot older than you are. He's experienced. You can get into a situation you can't handle. You can't be serious. You're just a kid, Blossom. I'm 14. And he's 16, and I'm an old guy who knows the score. And the thought of some guy... I just can't handle it, Blossom. Can't handle what? You don't trust me, do you? Trust goes right out the window when things start heating up. Dad, wait a minute. Are you telling me I can't go? That's what I'm telling you. No matter how much I care about him, no matter what a great guy he is, and no matter... Look, I don't like doing this, but this is the way it's got to be for now. You have plenty of time for this stuff. I don't want to... I don't want to hurt you, Blossom. It's just the way things have to be right now. I just 
can't believe my dad won't let me go. Well, you can understand why he's so worried. Young people have been using dances as a warm-up for sex since, well, since they invented sex. That's not true. Blossom, honey. There are very few things in this world that come off faster than a prom gown. Let's not kid each other, okay? Bobby and I do not have that kind of relationship. He's ugly, huh? He's gorgeous. Is he a jerk? He's wonderful. Stupid. Brilliant. Short. Tall. Does he like older women? Agnes. Huh? The point is, my father is being totally unfair about this. And there's not much I can do about it. And it really takes me off and I just like to strangle somebody. King me. Well, take a stand. Tell him. Tell him that you won't be pushed around anymore. <laughs> Obviously, you don't know my father very well. If you just remember how it felt when he was my age. I think he does, honey. That's the problem. Today in shop. Bobby. You sounded so sad on the phone, I had to see you. I'll get over it. Yeah, me too. Probably take a couple weeks. No problem. Yeah, right. No problem. I'm never gonna get over you, Blossom. <sighs> About to get stupid here. What's going on, Bobby? Why do we have to get over each other? Did we do something awful? What? We didn't do anything. I mean, it's just not fair. I'm not going to take it. Look, I'm going to talk to your father tomorrow. Oh, God. What can he do? Kill me? Blossom. I'm, I'm sorry. No, he won't kill you. I was just, um, thinking about what you said. You really won't get over me? Well, uh... At least not until Thursday. Uh, I guess this wouldn't help things, huh? It would help me. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> was stuck behind the back there. <laughs> um, I got a D on the ladder. <laughs> Maybe little things like being a drug addict for four years. That's different, Anthony. You're sober now. So what's your problem? There's this boy, Bobby Brewer. He's 16 and wonderful, and he wants to take me to the junior prom. And Dad won't hear of it. Right. He acts like we're both sex fiends, and we're getting ready to jump into bed. Awesome. Never heard you talk like that before. It's just talk, Anthony. You know what's funny? When I was 16, I dated a 14-year-old girl. Dad didn't mind a bit. Figures. What about her dad? He shot at me. <laughs> hey, everybody's up. You okay, Joey? I couldn't sleep. I had something on my mind. Surprised it didn't collapse. <laughs> what? I'm the one who got Dad all bent out of shape over you and Bobby. I don't know why. I guess I just thought you were a little young to go out with a guy like that. Oh, Joey. I know, I know, and I'm sorry. I guess I should have minded my own business. That's right. Can you forgive me? Well, I guess so. 
I mean, you're a complete idiot, but I just can't stay mad at you. I mean, in a heavily stupid way, you were just looking out for me, right? Joey? Boy, didn't take long to empty out that brain, did it? It was like untying a balloon. Now, I'm surprised you didn't fly around the room going... <laughs> He's only trying to help you, though. Yeah. Everybody's trying to help. I'm only doing what's best for you, Blossom. You're in over your head, Blossom. Well, has it ever occurred to anyone that I don't need help? That I'm not a little kid anymore? That I just possibly might know what I'm doing? Mr. Russo, I have to talk to you. But I don't have to talk to you, and don't call me Mr. Russo. Sir, I only no, need no, to... No, 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 don't call me sir. Nick. Go back to Mr. Russo. Only don't talk. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. When I was your age, I was a lot older than you are, so don't try and con me, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Sure you would. You're walking around with your pants on fire. You're liable to do anything. <laughs> I know I wouldn't do anything to hurt your daughter. Not bad. How about... She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Come on, you're not being fair. I would never do anything to hurt Blossom. I wonder how many fathers have waved goodbye to their daughters after that line. But I mean it. Can you say the same? Don't get smart with me, kid. I'll put you through the wall. <laughs> Look, I am just saying you're worried about my hurting or something I couldn't do, understand? I could not. But you know something? You've already heard her. And from nothing. Get out of here, you. Yeah. Busy? Kind of. I'll only be a minute. Look, Dad, you know I love you and respect you, and I understand how tough it is for you raising us kids by yourself, and... Especially your daughter, but you have to trust me. Go with him. Let me finish, Dad. I have to make up my own... What'd you say? Go with him. Go to the prom. Yes! 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 You mean it? No, it's my idea of a little joke. <laughs> of course I mean it. Just go, okay? Go. You don't seem to be real happy about this. I'm thrilled. I'm also going with you. <laughs> Dad, sit down. You're going to be worn out before you get to the benefit. I'm worried about Blossom. I just hope I did the right thing. I did the wrong thing. Well, how do I look? You're floating. I know. Don't. I can't help it. Ready? Ready. Hello, Mr. Russo. Hi, Anthony. Blossom. You look terrific. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> you look terrific, too, Mr. Russo. Are you going with us? Sure, you don't mind, do you? No. no as a matter of fact, uh, it would be an honor. Relax, kid. You got the part. <laughs> He's kidding, Bobby. Don't worry, Dad, please. Okay, okay. Don't forget, you don't need a quarter to call 911. <laughs> oh, Bobby. I'll track you down and kill you. You too? Oh, yeah. Is she home yet? Not yet, Dad, but it's early. What are you doing home so soon? 
I had one of those dates who just goes to the prom to dance. I hate that. She even liked the punch. Wanted to introduce me to her parents. I got hustled, Dad. <laughs> Anthony, you're wearing a tuxedo. What? You guys look so cool, and I still had this one I rented for my prom, so I dressed up. <laughs> How come you never returned it? Forgot where I rented it. <laughs> so, Dad, how was the Hollywood Bowl? Not bad. You guys hear a car door? Oh, no, guys, guys. I wouldn't be polite. I had a wonderful time. I did, too. No, I mean wonderful. Thank you. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. <laughs> it was all worth it. Well, um... Good night. Yeah, um... Good night, Bobby. And don't worry about going away. You'll do great. Thanks. And I'll miss you. A lot. <laughs>